Withdrawal Committee Community Forum. And at the end of the forum, we will go into our committee deliberations, discussion, things of that nature. So, this being a forum, people are welcome to come up to the microphone, say if they're for or against, whatever they wish to say. Okay, yeah, what I'll do then is turn it over to the superintendent to give a brief outline of how we got to where we are tonight, and then we'll go from there. Good evening, everybody. Uh, just to introduce so you know who you're, you're seeing up front here, my name is Robert Godowski, I'm the superintendent of schools. The other committee members, Dennis Messier, committee chairperson, uh, Dave Witham, city councilor, Todd Patton, community member, Dana Rivers, community member, Todd Marsh, school board member, Mark Richardson, school board member, and Matt Hanlon couldn't make it to tonight, also school board member. Just to give you a little background on what this committee is all about, um, it is to look at the SAU services and to see if there is uh, an opportunity to withdraw or reconfigure the SAU services for uh, Summersworth. This committee specifically was formed to see if it's feasible for Summersworth to withdraw from SAU 56. Um, SAU services, just a reminder that this will not directly affect any of your children or building or academic programs. Everything remains the same as, as far as that is concerned. This is specifically to do with the business aspect of, of school districts. That's the superintendent of school services. Things like grant management, curriculum development, staffing, professional development and trainings those types of things. Also business administrator and yes, financial people. services. People. That would cover things it's like payroll, ordering, professional development payments, budgets, yes, RFPs, contracts, and things like that for the business aspect. Also covered under SAU services are special education and support services that deals with all of the IEPs, speech services, 504s, any assistance for transportation that students might need. The present SAU is governed by both boards. It, it is made up of both boards from Rollinsburg and Summersworth. Summersworth presently has nine board members and pays 84% of the SAU budget. Rollinsburg has five board members and pays 16% of the budget. And the budget is determined by a formula that takes enrollment and equalized valuation of property in each of the communities to, to determine that percentage of, of um, what they present, uh, are responsible for in the budget. The current budget is approximately $1.2 million for the SAU. Some points of consideration and what the, the committee looked at. Um, first of all, exploring joining another SAU. Um, this was discussed at length. There was really no interest in area SAUs to combine with Summersworth, mostly due to the size of your school district and the responsibilities. Uh, and also there was determined no interest from the committee to go in that direction as well. Explored pulling out and going alone, making up their own SAU. That is, is still on the table for discussion. That is something that, that is a possibility. Uh, that that uh, opportunity at the present value would cost approximately $185,000, which is the Rollinsburg portion to the existing budget. Also explored leaving it the same, doing nothing. Uh, this this uh, leaves the finances the same, obviously. What it doesn't allow is for Summersworth to have complete autonomy and decision making when it comes to the SAU, and that was uh, much of the discussion uh, with this committee as well. 
and also explored having Rollinsford pull out, uh, withdraw, and contract the services back with Summersworth. I believe that's the, where the committee is at right now. They saw a benefit on that. Um, it provides existing funding and then allows Summersworth the autonomy to make the decision, uh, to, autonomy and decision making at the SAU level as well. So that was uh, the ultimate recommendation at this particular time, prior to community feedback, uh, was that at the present time the committee is recommending that we support Rollinsford in their efforts to withdraw and enter into a contractual discussion to allow them to contract services back. So that, that's, the, that's the last uh, piece that the commu uh, committee was discussing. Uh, so that's where we're at, and I believe we'd be happy to take any questions, any feedback, any clarifications that anybody might have. Seeing no one wishes to speak, we will close the forum and go to our committee uh, meeting. So, I'll uh, open it up to committee members. David? Thank you. I think the superintendent did a very nice job at sort of summarizing the work that the committee has done over the past uh, eight or nine months, I guess, uh, since we've been uh, convening. And, you know, as he articulated, we explored uh, options from basically doing nothing, remain status quo, uh, to uh, uh, putting our services with another SAU. And as he explained, there doesn't seem to be an appetite from others to absorb uh, our size community to do that. Uh, uh, certainly to withdraw from SAU 56 and form our own SAU. Uh, or uh, the option that uh, seemingly has uh, the most favorability, at least based upon our discussions, uh, would be to support the, the Rollinsford withdrawal from SAU 56. And uh, interestingly enough, just uh, for those that might be listening at home, uh, shortly after Summersworth uh, formed its SAU withdrawal committee, uh, Rollinsford, through an act of its voters, as I understand it, uh, formed an SAU withdrawal committee that sort of ran parallel uh, to ours. Uh, Rollinsford started a bit later, so their committee uh, remains active. And uh, it's my understanding that their withdrawal committee uh, is recommending to its voters at the March meeting uh, that they withdraw from SAU number 56. And I think, based upon our discussions, uh, certainly uh, we have uh, found that to be uh, a very favorable option, would support that option. But we certainly don't want to uh, close the door on uh, the option to withdraw should this get to the voters in Rollinsford in March. Uh, if it were to fail over there, uh, we would still uh, like the opportunity to withdraw from SAU number 56. And I think that is the appetite of this committee. I throw that out there because I think it's important tonight that we, uh, we, we finalize that, that approach. Um, to that end, because this uh, committee will uh, sunset, if you will, uh, at the first of the year or shortly thereafter, uh, I have been in communications with the mayor to reappoint another SAU withdrawal committee uh, that would run for another year. Uh, that way we would have a committee in place to take action should uh, Rawlsford voters uh, choose not to uh, withdraw from SAU number 56. And so. Uh, I think that's the, the general direction that uh, we've been discussing, and I throw that out to my fellow committee members to make sure we're all on the same page. And if we are, I think it's appropriate at some point before we wrap up here this evening, Mr. Chairman, that we uh, entertain a motion to support that direction. I agree. Any uh, other comments, concern from the committee member? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I saw something in uh, Foster's about, I guess, Rollinsford had had a recent meeting relative to a forum or something, and maybe some decisions were made or whatever. They said go to our Facebook page or something. I wasn't able to click on that, but has is, is anything happened that we should be aware of? Uh, Rollinsford held a community forum, a, I'm trying to remember, a week or two ago. 
uh, and at the community forum received feedback and the committee right now is recommending that they proceed with pulling out of SAU 56 and also to uh, allow their school board to meet with Summersworth to determine a contract for services and then hopefully that will be included in the plan that will go forward to um, the New Hampshire State Board for approval and ultimately forward to the voters involved. Any, any other, David? I'll make a motion. We can certainly discuss the motion. I'd like to move that the Summersworth SAU Withdrawal Committee support the uh, direction of Rollinsford withdrawing from SAU number 56. Uh, however, I would also note in the motion that uh, the Summersworth SAU Withdrawal Committee be uh, reappointed uh, by the mayor uh, after it sunsets in January of 2020 to monitor the progress of that withdrawal and that uh, in the event that Rawlinsford voters choose not to withdraw from SAU number 56, that the uh, committee at that point in time uh, could uh, certainly consider, the new committee could certainly consider uh, withdrawal from SAU 56 if that were necessary. I'll second that motion. Do we have a motion seconded? Any further discussion on the motion? Seeing none, I'll take a vote. All those in favor, raise their hand. All opposed? Motion passes. Uh -huh. okay. Is there any any other input? Anything else? Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.